Well, let's go back and talk about you and Mike Tyson. You know, uh, you had had experience with Tyson in the amateurs. Well, you know, you know, you know, I was four years older than Mike Tyson. So, you know, Mike Tyson, when he came, he was 17 and I was 21. And, you know, so people ask me, why do you never tell them about it? I said, we're going to talk about it at 21 years old, boxing somebody who's 17, who's a kid. I said, you know, even though he was bigger, I said, but, but I said, but I was accustomed to sparring bigger guys and stuff like this. I said, so I was able to handle it. I said, so I said, it wasn't nothing to really say. You had worked with him when you were amateurs and you had gotten the best of him. And so when you, when they signed to fight you, you weren't worried about Mike Tyson. Well, well I, I just realized that we both in the same era. And it's not like I wasn't trained. It's not like I rest or anything like this. I worked just as hard as he had. And then so it was, it was gonna be an interesting match, you know? I know that if he, he get them good shots in, I may go down, but the fact of the matter, don't let him hit me. And that was the key. Everybody in the world thought Tyson was invincible in those days. And I thought from the get-go that you were gonna beat Mike Tyson. Personally, I thought, obviously, it's because you're a great, skillful fighter, but I thought the reason that you were able to beat him, nobody else had ever pushed him back, but you pushed him back, and you made him fight. You didn't lay back, you didn't run from him. Well, you're right, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely, you, can't, you can't fight in defensively the whole time. Your, your, your fight got to be offense. Yeah, and then in the second fight, you know, I, I used to have a fighter that actually fought for two world titles. But when he would get in trouble, he would foul somebody. People like to smother you. They, they, they get all around yeah. your face. And man, they, they grab you by the head and they, and they smother them. Man, man, I'm like, you know. So that's that's the thing I, I realized that Tyson only get out there fight when he bit me. Because everybody said, why do you get so mad? I said, man, I said, I said, you got to understand, biting is when you want to get out of there. Everybody bite. People bite when they want to get out. When Mike Tyson bit your ear, bit a piece of your ear off, you got frustrated, but you said later you have made a lot of money for nine minutes. So explain how that all happened. Well, when it happened, you know, people, when people see, they say, well, Mike bit his ear. And, but the thing is that in this fight, I was so frustrated because the referee stopped the fight. Now, he bit me. Now, I want to get him back. But the Bible said, revenge is the Lord. So I questioned God right then and there. What is this all about? And he said, forgiveness. And he said, how long have you been fighting three rounds? Well, 12 years. He said, how much money do you get paid for? I said, well, nothing. That's when you are an amateur. Yeah, he said, yeah, he says, now in this fight, how much money did you get? $35 million. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so what the devil meant to be a curse, God turned into a blessing. Well, of course, yeah, and, and that's it. So, you know, every time people talk about my ear, it, it allow me to remember that I forgave. Because I forgave, I'm free. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, Mike and I, we, we talk, we, we, we don't have any problems, but it's the fact that the matter, I just think that when people like, you know, Mike, Mike, one of the, uh, one of the most recognized athletes in the world. Yeah. And, you know, even Mike come back and say, oh, you know, I apologize. I forgive it. And, and this is what you have to do in life to succeed. So Evander, you're saying that forgiveness is what helped you overcome that, even though that man did you wrong, when you forgave, that's what helped you overcome that. Well, I'm, I'm who I am, because forgiveness, I know is the key to what love is really about. Amen.